Hello everyone, my name is J.S. Matthews and welcome to my first impressions of Starfield. Now I wanted to throw this video get together for you guys just because um, I'm about 10 hours into the game and I thought now would be a good time to just kind of get out my initial impressions before I continue with it. Also for those of you who are waiting for the actual official release on September 6th, uh, this might give you an idea whether or not this is a game for you. I know there's been a lot of you know, controversy out there about some of the reviews and so I figured I'd share my ideas and what I think about the game with you all. So, hopefully you enjoy it. Now, before I even get into my impressions, I wanted to start with uh, something that I kind of picked up on here. Uh, when the the game first launched, or when they, they launched the, the trailers and stuff, there was the term No Man's Skyrim kind of going around, uh, that this reminded them of No Man's Sky. I want to really get this up front. This game is not No Man's Sky, and it is not No Man's Skyrim. Uh, this is not a space sim. That's not what it is. This is a Bethesda game that is set in space, and I think a lot of people went into this game thinking that's what it was going to be, and I think that's where you're going to start seeing that disconnect among reviewers. Uh, one of the reviewers, uh, or one of the reviews I read from IGN kind of complained about how No Man's Sky, uh, you know, be, being able to trans basically fly from the planet up into space and back down how uh, you know starfield doesn't do that very well and then you know you have to use a, a fast travel or whatever and how that that's better in no man's sky my thing is that's not what this game is trying to be it's not trying to be a space sim i know that'd be nice and that'd be cool but it's kind of like complaining that there's no dog fighting in mass effect that's not the purpose of the game the purpose of the game is to be a bethesda rpg set in the space world now you do get to fly your ship around and i'll talk about that later on but i did want to just bring that to the forefront if you're coming into this game wanting no man skyrim you are going to be disappointed because that's not what it is uh again it'd be like going into street fighter and complaining that it's a bad first person shooter yeah because it's not that's not what it is you know starfield is not a space and it's not elite dangerous um and it's not star citizen these are different games and they have different purposes um if you're if you're looking at this game and you want to know if it's for you uh basically what i would say is this is a mix of mass effect fallout 4 and skyrim if you spliced all those genes together and had some crazy child that would be starfield um but if you had that child raised by fallout new vegas that's what Starfield truly is. Uh, for those of you who loved Fallout New Vegas like I did, it's my favorite game of all time. This has some sprinkling of that. I really love the fact that Bethesda took out the voiced character from Fallout 4. That always drove me nuts. I wanted my own voice. I wanted it to be my RPG. Um, and I never got that feeling with Fallout 4. In fact, that was one of the first mods I downloaded was muting my character. And so getting a game again where it's my voice and it feels very much a heavy RPG, not as much as New Vegas, Vegas. Again, I don't want to go there, um, but it has a sprinkling of the feeling of New Vegas, and I think I appreciate that a lot. So, if you're coming to this game thinking you're going to get No Man's Skyrim or Elite Dangerous, you know, Fallout 4 version, that's not what it is. It is a Bethesda title, um, but there there are some very unique things to this, and I will get into those starting right now. So, I'm going to break this video down into six sections and just sort of six different topics I want to discuss on my impressions. The first one is going to be graphics, sound, and performance. The second is going to be the gameplay. The third is going to be the RPG aspects of the game, skills, stuff like that. The fourth is going to be the story and how good, how does the story hold up in the world building. Five is going to be the stuff I haven't done yet in the game. And six is going to be what I'm looking forward to in the future. Now this first section, graphics, sound, and performance. Um, I definitely want to hit this one first. The graphics look awesome. This game looks great. There are aspects that don't look as good as others, but when it comes down to the actual just technical graphics, it looks awesome. Some of the places you visit are absolutely jaw-dropping. Um, the lighting, all of that is fantastic. Player models, uh, like the character models, look great. You will find some NPCs that you look at and think, oh my gosh, they fell out of the ugly tree and hit every single branch on the way down. Um, I think every Bethesda game has that, but this one in particular, every once in a while, you'll be walking through a city and you'll see someone and be like, whoa, that, that dude definitely looks like he got hit by a truck and is just now walking home right after that accident. Uh, but overall, uh, I would say the graphics look fantastic. The thing about the graphics I do want to hit, though, is actually the art direction. The art direction this game is unbelievable. I absolutely adore it. It really feels like those old 1980s alien movies with sort of like the CRT, you know, screens. They're a little more advanced than that, but it really just has a unique 
Starfield feel. I know they call it NASA punk or something like that. Personally, I love what they did with it. Walking around inside my ship just feels incredible. The the lighting, when you walk uh, on space stations, you're looking out at space or down on planets, or when you're looking out and you can actually see your ship docked with the space station and how it's hooked up, it feels like you're playing a Firefly game or if you're, you know, uh, playing an alien game. It really just feels unique and different and the art style is really Really what separates these graphics. Overall, I would say they look great. Um, I'm only playing in 1080p because that's how I do things and I'm poor and I don't have to buy a new monitor yet. Plus my wife will probably slap me if I try to buy a new one already. Uh, but as of right now, I tell you right now, graphics look great. I'm not the biggest graphics guy though, so I don't know if you want to take my opinion as, as, as heavily as others. But I like the way it looks and the art direction is just phenomenal. I'll get a little hitch every once in a while, but it's usually when I first load into an area or when I first load up the game. It's not common. I would say most times when I get to a new area, there is nothing. No load in, no lag, nothing. Um, every once in a while, I'll get a little bit of an issue. There was one bug I ran into where uh, I think it was Morgan was kind of floating in the air a little bit at one point uh, when we were in my spaceship. And then I had one other where I pulled into a system and there were three spaceships next to each other and two of them just went flying off in all directions um and they just disappeared and i was like whoa that was uh, i don't think that was supposed to happen um or i think they were like spinning in place or something it was kind of funny um again it's bethesda you're gonna have a little bit of jank like that if you if you play a bethesda game that's the kind of thing that you'll pull up and be like yep that's that's bethesda right there it happened one time though when it comes down to performance i have had really no issues uh sound design is incredible as well. The sound of the guns, the sound of the spaceship when you're uh, when you're flying around is just perfect. The other thing I want to go on is the music. The music is, it's just absolutely astounding how great it works for this. It really establishes the feeling of exploration and wonder rather than just straight up violence and fighting and stuff like that. When you're in Skyrim, you have that feeling of fantasy and whoa, this is a new fantastic world. And in Starfield, it's like, it, it's that first feeling you got when you pulled into Mass Effect and you, you're you you know flying into the Citadel and it just felt amazing. That is what the music in Starfield does for you at all times. I have no complaints about the music. It's unbelievable. I do get a little bit of a glitch every once in a while where the, uh, when I talk to someone, it's usually when I first start recording and it's only the first line of dialogue. I do think it's actually my recording that's doing it. Come to help Sam loot his ancestry? You're not getting those maps. Full stop. I don't have the highest level PC. Um, it's not bad, but it's not, you know, amazing. I'm not running a 4090 and like a i7, whatever. Um, but I do get an issue where the lip sync is off of the dialogue just on the first line. It doesn't bother me, but it may bother some of you out there. Let me know if you're encountering that problem as well. But overall, graphics, performance, and sound, really, it has been stellar thus far. Now, the second section of the game I want to hit is gameplay. And I'm going to break this down into combat, uh, spacefaring, and exploration and then we'll deal with the rpg stuff separate because i'd like to talk about that on its own uh when it comes to the combat this is uh, a very large part of gameplay it is awesome i i actually really enjoyed the combat in fallout 4 i thought the gunplay was great um this game took it to a whole nother level the sound effects of the guns feel punchy and heavy and echo and i, I love that um the ballistics versus laser guns feel different i love all the different and unique guns you get to see after playing fallout you kind of get used to seeing the same weapons and in this it was cool to find a new weapon and be like whoa what the heck does that thing do um and again the gunplay is fantastic it has great feedback great uh recoil all of that there are some times where i feel like wow how the heck did i miss that guy but i just kind of had to get used to the sights on the gun especially the laser weapons once i got used to them everything was everything was fine i haven't done a lot of stealth so i haven't looked into the stealth combat yet i've been kind of running a scoundrel type of character um i tend to talk my way through things and uh i, I actually really enjoy the combat though when i when i get into it um again it feels just smooth the you know jump packs all of that everything feels great when it comes to combat. 
the second section of gameplay I want to talk about is spacefaring. Uh, spacefaring is a huge part of this game. It's a little different than what you'd expect if you are coming into this. Again, I mentioned in the beginning, this isn't a space sim. You're not going to be able to fly from planet to planet manually. You do have to pull up a map, click where you want to go, and fly. And then when you reach that system, you can actually fly around a bit freely. There's some asteroids sometimes you have to avoid. There are space stations, there are other ships. Um, and that that works out very well. I was a little disappointed at first, my first uh, gameplay of it where I was fighting these pirate ships. I was a little disappointed, but it was because my ship kind of sucked. And so once I improved my ship, things got much better. Uh, and I actually really enjoyed my second encounter with a, a pirate ship and I, I had to disable it and then board it. And that, again, that is really cool. It, it's actually really cool chasing down a ship, disabling it, boarding the ship and then jumping on 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 board and, and fighting the enemies it's really cool um i do wish i could get out of my pilot seat while flying like i wish i could stop my ship you know come to a stop and then you know exit my pilot seat so i could walk around while in space i thought that would be kind of fun maybe there will be a mod that'll come out to let me do that but uh that was one thing i, I did kind of want to do but again if you're looking for a space sim this probably isn't going to be it if you're looking for an R a bethesda rpg that is heavy on the rpg elements and has some really fun you know flight you know bits in there as well then this is definitely going to be for you but yeah i enjoy the space area so far i love loading up my cargo hold i love the fact that I, I can customize my ship I haven't done that too much yet um, but I'm really looking forward to that so spacefaring is is pretty awesome the next part of the game I want to talk about was exploration I haven't done a bunch of this yet again I've been pushing through the main story but the exploration I have done is really cool the planets are just gorgeous and they just I, I've been on so many different planets and they all feel different and unique there was one that was freezing cold and you know just covered in snow and ice um, and then there was one that was a bit, a bit more almost like it was very alien looking lots of like almost like it looked like poisonous landscape almost it was really cool um, everything looks so unique and different the one thing I do want to point out there are people who are complaining there's no mini map honestly i love not having a mini map i i've started really despising games that have mini maps because it takes my eyes away from the game and then i'm just staring at this map with these dots on it um i know there's also people that want like sort of like a smaller map uh, of cities and stuff like that that i do get that complaint there there are maps but they're not very detailed um but to be honest again that was something i actually kind of got used to where i had to actually look at signs on stores i had to actually walk around and say okay where you know oh that's the commercial district i'm going to go to the commercial district if i need to sell something and find a general store or whatever um and once i started doing that again the need for a map really disappeared i i it just encourages you to explore and i like that i do get if people are going to complain about that and i'm not really going to argue with that complaint i get it it's helpful to me though i love being push to explore and so far um i've really liked it the other thing is it feels like bethesda this feels like bethesda but it feels so different landing on a planet jumping out of my my starship and kind of looking around and being like whoa i can just i can walk up to that building i can go over there it, it feels like again like skyrim did where you see the throat of the world and you're like oh i can't wait to climb that but instead now i get to a new planet and i'm like whoa what does this one have in store for me? It's just there's so much more wonder there because I can't see it before I before I get to go explore it. And I kind of like that. I, I know there's going to be people out there who may not like that as much. But personally, I'm really enjoying the exploration. I can't wait to do more of it. Now, there is one more thing I wanted to mention. The UI and the menus. I've heard a little complaints about that. I don't think it feels any worse than any other Bethesda game I played. I know you have to access menus to get to your ship and stuff like that. I don't really mind it. Like, I, I found it very intuitive. If I played a Bethesda game before, I knew what to do. Um, I, I haven't really minded it. Maybe I'll mind it later on. But as of right now, the UI and the menus haven't bugged me too much. I do hate that when you find a new place, it appears right in front of your face in the center of the screen. Uh, there is a mod already. I mean, this is this is on the 3rd of September when I'm making this video. And there's already a mod that fixes that and moves the XP gain and the sort of like, hey, you discovered this off the center of your screen into the bottom and i really like that because it tends to interfere with combat but other than that really no major complaints my third section here i want to discuss is the rpg elements now this one i've been really excited for i was very disappointed with fallout 4 coming from fallout new vegas and going to fallout 4 i felt like there was a really big drop off um 
in the RPG mechanics, and and even from New Vegas to Skyrim. I mean, there, and Skyrim was great, by the way. I I love I love that I was allowed to be my own character before I was captured. Right, the main the main story, right, uh, where you're where you've already been captured by the Imperials and all that. I love the fact that I could be my own character. Maybe I was a scholar trying to get into Skyrim. Maybe I was a thief. Maybe I was a soldier who was on the run. I love that. And uh, all four really bothered me because I had to be a dad looking for his son, and I didn't like that. I wanted to be a wastelander. I wanted to be maybe a traveling assassin. Who knows? There, whatever my imagination was, I wanted to be that, and you couldn't really do that in Fallout 4. Again, not saying that that is too bad, but for a Bethesda game, I want that freedom to be my own character, and Starfield does that very well. I'd say it's the best Bethesda-style game since... Uh, New Vegas to really give you some RPG mechanics. It's not perfect. Again, don't for the for those of you who are also New Vegas fans like I am. I'm not saying it's to the level of New Vegas, but it's significantly higher and closer to that than it is to Fallout 4. So if you're like me, where you were disappointed about that in Fallout 4, this is really going to help you. You have a silent protagonist. I love it. That was the first mod I downloaded for New or for Fallout 4 was to mute my character. I didn't want to hear his voice. I wanted to hear my voice. I wanted to say things sarcastically whatever it is um, I wanted it to be my voice and so in this game again silent protagonist absolutely love that the different skills and backgrounds and traits that you can add are awesome and they do come into play there was one time where I was at a bank heist and I was trying to talk to the the people uh, the criminals on the inside who are holding people hostage and I was able to because I actually picked the wanted trait so there are people who want me hunted down and I kind of had in my mind that maybe my character you know I'm more of a smuggler scoundrel like Han Solo so I have a past that's following me and I like the fact that I could bring that up to characters like again it's not as deep as New Vegas yet but there's so many different times where I actually really enjoyed bringing up the past or the traits that I chose, um, and it really made me feel like they mattered. Uh, the other thing is the skills. Oh my gosh, there's so many skills, and so far, every one of them seems like I want them. That was another thing in Fallout 4. There were some skills I'm just like, yeah, I've never taken that thing, or wow, that one seems kind of overpowered. These really seem like great skills. I want the combat skills because I'm in combat, but I want the piloting skills because I, I fly my, you know, my ship a lot, and at the same time, that's my RPG play, right? I'm supposed to be a, a pilot, a scoundrel. I want to be flying across the galaxy from one end to the other, you know, staying ahead of the the uh, authorities, and I, I want to be free, right? That's my character. And so putting points into those, actually you feel it. You really see a change, and it makes you want to get to those different skills, and there's so many. Like, I, this is the first Bethesda game I didn't invest in stealth, and I don't feel like I wasted my time. I feel like I've really, every perk point I've put in, every skill point, has actually paid off and felt good. So really huge kudos to Bethesda for doing that. I really love the skill trees. I, I can't wait to dive deeper into them. And uh, yeah, I, every point feels like it, it matters. And that is something that really makes me happy as an RPG player. The last thing I want to bring up uh, is that I, I really feel that you get to make your own story in this. And I really, really like that. There was a time where uh, I had to sneak, I had the choice to engage some ships in a dogfight or I could sneak past them to access a satellite. And so I made the choice to sneak. So I disabled all of my, uh, you know, all the parts of my ship except for my engines and just slowly creeped up on it. And it was really intense. You could hear them like talking and there are these weird cultists talking about like, you know, this, this giant serpent that's going to devour the galaxy. And I was like, how awesome was that? Just very intense moment. Um, and and it just it's a memory that I won't forget. And it was all because I wanted to play the game the way I wanted to play it, and they gave me that option. So, so far, RPG mechanics, I'm really digging them. Uh, I want to dig in a little bit deeper and continue to go into the story to make sure that my skills and stuff actually get more play. But again, they do a great job with this. There's also points where, depending on who you bring with you, your companions can interject and actually change a conversation. And again, that actually made me want to bring my companions. They were useful. Um, and they themselves have skills. So if you bring uh, someone who has skills to, uh, I think it's like... Um, astrodynamics where you can jump further and you waste less fuel and when you're you're going between star systems i always bring that character along with me because she's useful right now because i don't have that skill so anyways rpg mechanics looking great i cannot wait to dive more into them
Now the fourth section of my impressions is going to be the story. Uh, I honestly, usually when you pick up a Bethesda game, you kind of expect the story to be kind of mediocre. I felt like Skyrim's story was epic, but the way it was handled just felt really quick. And um, yeah, I, I didn't, I mean, I can't tell you many of the characters from the Skyrim game that were in the main quest because I just didn't really care about them. I didn't connect with them. Oblivion, I can remember the characters, um, but it wasn't like New Vegas where I could I could remember specific characters like Chief Hanlon and these, these deep characters that actually, you know, felt like real people. And so far, Starfield is the complete opposite. It's fantastic. I actually really love these characters. You meet Barrett right off the bat. I actually really liked him. He's making me chuckle a little bit. And uh, you meet uh, Sarah Morgan, who's kind of the leader of the group constellation. Another main character, really cool. I like her. Um, uh, and uh, I'm really kind of interested in Stroud, the rich guy who's kind of backing all of them up. And um, I think it's Mateo is one of them who's kind of like a religious guy. And he kind of thinks that you're actually searching for a message from po possibly a divine, you know, being or something like that. And it was, it, they're great, great characters. And the story is interesting. It's simplistic enough to where I like it. Again, if you played Mass Effect, you've played this story to an extent where, you know, you touch an ancient alien artifact or whatever, and you get a vision. And now you're on the search to try to figure out what the heck this vision is. This one is far more uh, exploration based. It feels more like science -y, like look, there's a question. We want to find this answer. Let's search for it. And that really motivates me as, as a player. I'm like, oh, this is really cool. I want to find out what the heck's going on here. I want to find what what is going on behind these artifacts. And it's simple enough, too, to where I don't feel like I'm being railroaded down it. I can take a break from it. It's not like Skyrim where you're like, oh my gosh, the world leader's coming. You have to do the main quest, you know? And I always kind of felt that was funny where I, I pick up the main quest and be like, nah, I'm going to go do 25 other things first. This one feels a lot more like, hey, take it at your own pace. You want to go do some other stuff? Go do it. Uh, and it encourages that exploration. Again, the story's simple, but it's good. It does start off slow. I will say right now, for me, that was not a negative. I loved it. I loved the slow start. Start off as a miner. You know, my backstory was I had to escape Neon, and uh, my my character was a thief and a rogue and uh, a decent pilot, and so I ended up stowing away on someone's ship, and now I'm trying to, you know, I got a bounty on my head, and so I'm just trying to lay low, so that's why I end up in, like, this little mining colony. And so for me, I kind of liked that. This start off that was kind of slower paced, and uh, I don't want to spoil too much about it, but I, I didn't feel like it was bad at all. I liked how it introduced you to each major mechanic in the game within the first about hour or two, and then you're kind of free to go. You can just ignore it and go do what you want. And I do like that about the story, and it just made the world feel so interesting. And that's the thing I do want to hit with the story part is the world building. The world building is incredible. This game, it makes you feel like this is a real place. Um, I don't want to spoil too much, but... Yeah, when you're exploring through the main story and you get to go to places uh, that, of course, you're probably familiar with, and it's just, it's interesting, you know, you do get to visit Mars, and it's just, it's so different and cool, and hearing about why humans had to leave Earth and settle these new star systems is, is awesome. It's so cool. I'm a world-building sucker. I'm the person who has, like, 56 books planned because I can't stop planning stuff. I have three major book worlds that I'm actually writing stuff in right now as an author. Um, and I love world building and I just have such a passion for it. And so to see other people have that passion as well, it just is awesome. And you feel it. You feel the love that was put into this game by Bethesda. And that's about the best compliment I can give it is the people who made this game loved it. And uh, I can't wait to dive more into it. And uh, yeah, the story though, looking great. I haven't done any of the faction quests yet. I'll get into that in a minute. But already... I'm loving the world building, loving the story, and the characters I really like. All right, our second to, last, second to last section here is part five, and I want to talk about the stuff I haven't got to do yet. Um, starting with, I want to explore more. I haven't really gone to just any planet and explored yet. Um, I'm excited to do that, but again, I've been focusing on the main story, so I am excited to kind of delve into what seems to be the main meat of the game, which is just find a place, go explore a little bit. I do have a lot of side quests right now. Some of them are way above my level, so I'm just kind of working up to those, but everything I've seen so far, it's, it's just gorgeous. Everything looks beautiful it feels good i can't wait to explore some of these unique 
planets. The other thing I haven't touched yet is the faction quests. I mentioned that in the story section. I haven't done any of the factions. I'm focusing on the main story, which is Constellation, so I guess that is a faction. But uh, I am focusing on the main story currently. Uh, but so far, I've heard good things about them. I have read a little bit from other people, and uh, I can't wait to join the... Uh, I really want to join the Freestar Rangers. That seems like it'd be a lot of fun, you know, like almost like marshals on the, the frontier. And I, I, I'm a sucker for that kind of thing, being a Western fan author of post-apocalyptic westerns. I'm really excited to do that. So faction quests are going to be coming up. Um, Shipbuilder. I have not messed with the shipbuilder at all yet. I don't have enough money. I've been kind of saving up my money because I might try to buy a ship first and then fiddle with the building as I make more money. Um, but that is one thing. On on that same note, I haven't built any outposts yet. I'm just about to. Um, and so I plan on trying that out. I love the building system in Fallout 4. I actually wasn't a fan of it at first. And then once I started taking that as almost like the role-playing aspect where I could actually build what my character wanted and like my own little settlements and actually took that to being part of my character, that's when I really enjoyed it. So I'm really looking forward to that for Starfield. And uh, yeah, that, that should be a, a really fun thing coming up. I haven't done any pirating or smuggling yet, haven't had the option, but I do plan to try it because this character is definitely a smuggler. I haven't done any sort of stealth yet, which is weird for a Bethesda game. I am definitely the stealth archer, the stealth sniper. That's usually what I did. I loved that character build, but in this one I decided to forego that and try something different and I have loved it so far. Using my persuade skill to kind of get my way out of anything, talk my way out, um, I really loved. And so far, it's been fantastic. Uh, scanning planets and uh, doing sort of the science investigation stuff, I haven't really done a lot of that, haven't done a lot of mining, um, but I will. Uh, and then finally, I haven't done a bunch of side quests. The ones I have done, I have enjoyed though. Um, and again, I, I've heard great things about that. I've heard the side quests have been really fantastic. And I can't wait to dive into those, but I do kind of want to do a little more of the main quest and then get a feel for that. And they seem to be paying you a lot of money and stuff, and that's kind of what I'm trying to get into. So that's the stuff I haven't done, and I can't wait to share that stuff with you uh, later on and kind of get a full impression of that. Now on this last part of the video, I just want to bring up my last sort of point or idea I was thinking about, and that is the future of this game. Um, I've only been playing this for three days, and I can tell you right now, I can already see myself playing this for the next six years. Um, I'm dead serious. This is one of those Bethesda games like like Skyrim, like Fallout New Vegas that um, I will be playing over and over and over again and restarting and picking a new character. Um, again, I know New Vegas is Obsidian, but it's it's Bethesda-y in, in that manner, whatever. But uh, the idea is, is if, if you like Bethesda games, if you played Fallout New Vegas and loved it, you played Skyrim and loved it, and Morrowind and Daggerfall, uh, you are going to love this game. And really, for me, it's been very surprising because this is the first time I've jumped into a Bethesda game and been completely surprised since I jumped into Morrowind when I was a kid. The first Bethesda game I ever bought was uh, was Oblivion, but it was uh, it couldn't I couldn't run it on my laptop very well. <laughs> so I was, it was back in the day before I became a real true PC gamer. And I ended up buying Morrowind as well. And once I sat down and started playing the game, I can't even tell you how many hours I played in that world. And it was just so different and alien and interesting and Starfield has that exact same feel for me and so far uh, it's just been a blast so if you love Bethesda games you are gonna love this game um, on that note uh, again it's Mass Effect's Beth it's Be Bethesda's Mass Effect that's what it is and if you if, I, if you like the sound of that then definitely pick it up it's it's gonna be really good it's worth the money for the content for sure the amount of amount of stuff you can do and how it's all been fun so far has really been what's captured me and what I'm looking forward to in the future is just engaging with all the these different styles of play starting a new character and being like a monster hunter right like an alien hunter and going around and killing big aliens and trying to trying to take pictures of them I thought that would be really fun I have a character planned for that and uh, I, I plan on doing a let's play from that perspective sometime but th that's what I'm saying is there's so many cool little things I'm thinking about on that note as well expansions and DLCs whatever they come out with I am excited for and uh, the replay value on this is off the charts so whatever if you pay the full price for this 99.99 like I did to get that that in, uh, early access, it's going to be worth it because you are going to get, but this is going to be a thousands of hours kind of game. I'm, I'm really excited about it. Um, 
The other thing I did want to mention is this is a Bethesda game, which means that it ages like fine wine. That's what Bethesda games do. The further you get away from that release date, the better they get because of the modding, because of how they work. And that's what I think people forget about Bethesda games is they're meant to change. They're meant to last 10 years. That's why they don't make them every single year like you do with Call of Duty or Assassin's Creed or whatever. And that's what makes these games so beautiful is they give us, the people, access to the tools to make this what we want. If you don't like an aspect of the game, change it someone someone will create something and you will be able to change it and make the game what you want and i think that's what i just appreciate so much about bethesda games is they value us the players and allowing us to make these uh into what we want so bethesda games they age like fine wine if you want to grab it now and experience that aging process i compare it to buying a whole like case of wine and you just drink one bottle even though i don't drink i'm not a big drinker but uh i love that comparison about how like you know you taste it at first and it's, yeah it's good but you know it needs some time and then a year later you, you try it again and it tastes even better and by the time you get 10 years down the road people are making their own worlds and their own games using the the, the systems and um, I'm just excited for that. The future of this game is very, very bright, and I can't wait to see it. So, to finish up this video, my final thoughts. If you enjoy Bethesda games, you're going to love this. If you liked Mass Effect, I assume you're going to love this. If you're a Space Fit Sim fan, um, there's going to be some things you love and some things you're going to wish they would change. And I guarantee there's going to be mods that'll change it, but I get it if you're coming into this thinking it's going to be No Man's Skyrim. It's not. It's not No Man's Sky. It's not No Man's Skyrim. This is Starfield. It's its own unique thing. It's Bethesda in space. And if that sounds amazing to you, you're going to love it. If you're like, eh, I never really got into Fallout 4 or Skyrim, this probably isn't going to be your game. And I get it. You know, not every game is for everybody. And that's fine. Uh, that is totally okay. That's just the way things work out. There are games that other people love and I'm not a fan of. I don't like fighting games. I'm not a Street Fighter fan. And so I, you know, I'm not going to buy those games because they're not my thing. Um, but yeah, if you, if you are really looking for a good RPG, if you're looking for a great Bethesda game, this is it. This is the next thing, and I'll tell you right now, I love it. So, um, if you guys are waiting for it to release on September 6th, hopefully this uh, video gave you a little bit of help on what to expect, whether or not you should return it, or whether or not you should keep your pre-order. Uh, if you are playing the Early Access like I am, what are your thoughts on this? After hearing what I had to say, what do you have to say? Do you disagree with some of the things? Are you experiencing a bunch of jank that's been bother bothering you? Um, do you have a problem with the, the Space Sim side of it? Do you wish there was more, and why? I would love to hear that in the comments. Let me know. Um, I would love to get a good discussion going down below, and I'd love to hear what you all think. So, anyways, thanks again for checking my videos. If you ever want to support me or my channel, uh, I always uh, put links to my books in the description of my videos, so you can go check out my books. I, I am an aspiring author, uh, and I like to think I'm pretty good. Uh, but yeah, I would definitely suggest starting with The Marshall. It's uh, the first book I really got edited and published, and um, I, I think it's a very enjoyable read and a very cool world. So if you ever want to support me, just go ahead and go check those out or you can always just check out my other videos so i hope you all have an absolutely fantastic day and if you're playing starfield good luck and i hope you all stay safe out there have a good one